Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel STG. So this time we're gonna do some short video about my latest uh, cockpit configuration, a multi cockpit. Uh, so I did several modification again last time. Uh, so yeah, so let's go uh, discuss some uh, changes that I've made. Okay, first thing first, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, monitors, as you can see, there's a big TV, uh, 50 inch, and even bigger TV, 60 inch in front of me, and a smaller monitors, 28 inch, uh, PC monitors, uh, 4K, all of them are 4K, so uh, the main one, uh, just in front of me you can see my shadow over there or my reflections is for my main uh, monitors so it shows the cockpit the uh, front view of the flight simulator of or whatever DCS or something okay so on the left side actually the extension of the main monitors where I put a lot of uh, kind of like uh, software applications like Navigraph, Simbrief, uh, Spot.next or any other controllers uh, that or applications that is not part of the simulators add on something so it's on the right si uh, left side so including pilot to ATC I put it here or if I want to open the chart uh, I put it here so it's a big screen I can put several programs in in this TV monitors okay uh, for the smaller one, uh, it's actually connected to my second PC. So this is not the main PC. So this consists of my OBS, so my voice meter, potato, my mixer. So you can see my voice, and I I can actually actually I'm using several voices, uh, sound effect and something, including uh, from the main PC, from the microphone, from the process uh, microphone. Uh, and other things uh, if sometimes I put a sound effect uh, a player over there music and other things okay so this is my PC for recording so it's actually overkill right now because it's using RTX 2080 but TI but anyway so that is the setup of monitors okay so let's go to the next from left to side I will talk about the controllers Okay, this is my left side, starting from the left side, uh, open this, uh, this is my Thrustmaster Hotas, uh, actually I put a, a clamp here, so if I open it, I can slide this uh, up uh, forward and backward so you can see here if I want to use this one I sl slide it backward so I can reach this one if I want to use a combat fighter for example I slide this forward so it's somewhere around here and it goes the this Thrustmaster A320 will go a bit further forward so it's not unused uh, sorry in unused when it was unused okay so when I using A320 I usually put this cover over here so I can put my hand comf comfortably here so while I'm reaching this one okay so this table also hang having the hang over there so if I want to get out it's very easy uh, so this one is Thrustmaster uh, Warthog Trotter Quadrant and this one is a 320 pilot uh, joystick okay on top of it there is my zoom recorder so I connect my microphone uh, from the headset I'm using uh, uh, it's a China brand headset I don't know but it's really cool it's look like a pilot headset so you can see here yeah something like that okay so it's very nice it's very cheap actually so it's the same I'm using that for during the flight uh, and then amplify here and put forward uh, isolator here so to reduce noise transmissions uh, uh, what do you call it uh, ground loops and I have several configuration here it's quite complex so this switch will 
on and off oh, sorry so switch into main pc or second pc so if i want to hear the headphone connected to main pc i just pressed it and i will connect into main pc if uh, deep press and then i'll connect to second pc for recording so i can uh, use the headphone without detaching attaching so it's kind of like cumbersome anyway uh, to uh, you know unplug and plug this uh, microphone cable or headphone cable into a different sound card from the main pc or second pc so just having a, a audio switcher so the ground also switch here so it's also not only the audio the ground also switch so it it reduced the ground loop so i didn't attach the ground from the second and main pc so it's very isolated so when i pushed it it's actually a four-way uh, switch uh, dual pole uh, spd uh, dpdt so it's if i can uh, kind of like two times stereo yeah so it's four channel kind of switches so one uh, left, right, and ground channel. So it's, it's actually switch uh, all together, okay, from the first source to second source. Okay, so that is DIY, of course. Uh, you create my own. Some mic booms, uh, stand. What else? Uh, my microphone hanger over there. And that's it. So that is the left side. And above it, there's a keyboard. I haven't really found any label here, so I just put a sticker label to to uh, label my sound so this is actually a shortcut to my sound so if i press uh, good morning and everything so arrival announcements music background music i can play and this one is record and pause from the obs so i kind of create a hotkey over there to uh, quickly um uh, interface with or interact with my obs uh, and other sound effect okay so this one is second pc keyboard uh going to the center this is my old uh, stg button box so just reconfigure every time i want so now it's connected to uh directly to fs2020 and also to spot.next some of the key here actually this one is for jetway uh, catering uh, luggage catering something like that so I can I can trigger this one and the uh, jetway is connected compared to using a mouse so I already programmed this into spot.next I'll uh, have another video uh, previously this one is for ATC command uh, answering the ATC from FS2020 so uh, 1 to 0 uh, the response from ATC interface okay so this one is for view uh, this one is programmed for interior view this one is mostly for exterior view though today i just kind of combine so i have like what uh more than 20 keys over here like 32 keys more so this one is for button box just uh, for a quick uh, access to several function in the fs2020 now that is the left side okay so continue to the right side okay on the center side let's move from the bottom part there's a combat uh, i think side a combat uh, rudder uh, pedal I, I used to put it in my fa18 cockpit uh, meanwhile i borrow it because my trust master uh, tfrp is not really that good it's it's too too cram to uh, to uh close to each other's the pedals and also very very inaccurate this one is very good and i might buy another side act one but not for the combat one probably for the normal uh setup but that's pretty good uh, of course there's an trust master uh the best in the market but that's very expensive the most expensive rather at least at this moment with the pendulum uh, configurations okay so moving up uh, the bigger one here is my yoke this one is the DIY yoke so I create DIY so the box is actually uh, behind this wall uh, we can pick there's a metal uh, enclosure box uh, behind this black cover so actually this one is for kind of a smaller aircraft like Cessna 
or yeah but what else i think there's a lot of you uh aircraft using yoke and, and if including my if i want to fly with boeing seven eight seven or seven three seven or seven triple seven or seven four seven i can still use this one although it's not probably as good as uh the pivot that uh Uh, yoke like the Boeing one from Trustmaster, the latest one, of course. Okay, so but it's really pretty cheap. I create my own. This is 3D printed, uh, painted like, and there's a, a kind of a rubber, um, not a rubber, actually elastic band inside it. So it's kind of like very long uh, rotations, and it. It has quite a good dampening, not not as uh, stiff as I want, but I think it's okay. Okay, so it should be okay. And using the spring cable, um, a spiral cable to connect. Uh, it's several button here, two button here, one button behind, uh, four uh, way head key, one button behind, two way here. So pretty decent. Uh, not as many as the commercial one uh, behind it there is on top of that you can see is the FCU panel from A320 uh, this one is DIY also no display so it's a blank uh, black uh, blackout so no display you can see some light inside the Arduino, Arduino. Uh, this one is also 3d printed and recent resin uh, cracks <laughs> I, I, I will redo this uh, FCU later on when I build my full cockpit A320 but meanwhile this is fully working so I already map all this key uh, into A3 to uh, NX by fly by wire sim so this one is when functioning is uh, fully functioning this whole button even this one FBA mode metric altitude uh, for pull and push i'm using a on off switch from mm joyce so it's kind of like a toggle switch uh, virtually so if i push it's toggle on push again off on something so when i did that when it's on it was like pull when it off is push something like that so it's kind of like uh, replicating the pull and push by push button so i, I need to push twice Uh, actually, one pull, one push, one pull, one. So everything will same. Pull, push. Uh, this one for standard, uh, similarly. But this one is actually not functioning. The Pascal, heteropaxal, uh, and inch, uh, inch G. So everything is uh, functioning here. So the FCU is being used uh, with A320. Okay. Uh, the other one here, you can see, uh, there's some noise just now. It's actually switching the microphone into the first PC and then routed back into the second PC using a filter. So if I push this one and I talk, it will sound uh, very uh, radio, uh, distorted radio sound. So it's kind of like live uh, evac. I don't create a video by using uh, post-processing, so it just just using a simple cut and paste uh, editing so this one helps when you talk to ATC on the first PC or to pilot to ATC if you want to communicate with them you just push this one and it will talk to the first PC but the sound will go back into the second PC but filtered already so this voice is directly to second PC so it's it's full uh, bandwidth I mean, audio bandwidth is like 220 to 20k kilohertz, uh, but this one has been filtered into telephonic sound or radio FX sound or you know uh, walkie-talkie sound FX. Okay, uh, I can have this button here, but also actually here you can see there's a I glue it up <laughs> for a while using hot glue. I can detach it, of course. This one I can. You see, there's a clicky sound, like a distorted sound. This is actually switching into the second channel. So this is the audio sound. Test audio test 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 audio testing testing. So I can use this one. Testing audio testing audio testing. So 
that's how I switch live in the recording. So minimize my editing. Okay. So that is the center PC, uh, center controller. Sorry, uh, this one is of course the Kogar, just master Kogar. Uh, I put it several function here. This mostly the light uh, in the A320 at this moment. So I program this into spot.next so I can light up all the light quickly by just pressing long press up. It will automatically set to maximum or you can click slowly to increase and decrease as you want to okay and this one is morning caution and terrain uh, uh, in the navigation display chrono also I think here I forgot to mention in the label here okay so that is the Kogar on the right side there's uh, ACAS I think it's uh, configuring the lower ECAM uh, display engine bleed press electric uh, hydraulic fuel and all this one is status uh, and oops status and recall APU con air conditioning door wheel flight control clear if you want to clear the lower ECAMS uh, warning or error okay so this is the Kogar two of them this one is, I don't know why, is sometimes kind of like uh, frequently pass, uh, sorry, disconnect and connect it again, causing a crash to desktop in FS2020. So in the lower part, that's my uh, multi-engine uh, panel. So I, I rarely use it right now, but I can connect this also to spot.next or directly to uh, FS2020. This one is for uh, this. Uh, I can put it up here. So there's two magneto switch connected already. You can program each of the positions. Battery master, sorry, master battery. I think yeah. Beacon landing light, taxi light, those kind of thing. Okay, and you can program this to pito whatever. Or this one is for another switch and button. So this one is another throttle. Uh, co uh, quadrant but using a uh, push and pull like the Cessna for example this one is not yet used right now I have to uh, push uh, pull the pedestal on my right side to be able to use this and actually open this one if you want to open this one uh, this yoke can be pushed back actually the the panel behind or the box can be pushed forward so it it stay flush in with this area if I want to have more room uh, in front of me without this yoke for example so the yoke will be pushed forward just flush into this wall so I have more uh, clearer area but today I just put it here because sometimes I fly Boeing then back to A320 so I just leave it here so while I'm using the FCU of course the position of the FCU is not correct it's supposed to be somewhere like here on the right side but it's, it should be okay okay so that is the center part okay now we move to the right hand panel uh, moving from the front this is my uh, Honeycomb Bravo I've already uh, uninstalled the throttle at this moment because I'm still flying A32NX uh, or Airbus so this one mostly for Boeing and for my smaller air, air, aircraft like Cessna and other you can choose uh, the stick here or the, the handle according to the smaller airplane or uh, bigger air, airplane or aircraft okay so I'm using this also for my A32NX for my trim uh, this one is already modified using 3D print for a gated uh, flap uh, for a Boeing 787 so it's kind of very nice this one and for A32 uh, NX uh, I'm using this one is for talking to the ground crew uh, if I want to have a voice recognition into FS2 crew, for example, I have to put this one and then talk to my ground crew. If not, then it will go to 
this normal position is to pilot to ATC, for example, uh, for voice recognition. So if I click this one, it will go directly to FS2 group. So I program this one uh, as a logic combination. So if it's pulls here, it will go to uh, FS2 crew. If off, uh, this one on goes to pilot to ATC. Uh, this one ATC on, TCAS, for example, anti skid brake fan uh, activated in A32NX. Uh, this part is actually, um, uh, this one is, um, how do you call it, uh, megahertz. 1 megahertz, uh, this one is 100 kilohertz, uh, megahertz again on uh, kilohertz again, 100 kilohertz, uh, that's, uh, sorry, yep, so uh, 100,000 kilohertz, yep. So this one is actually uh, COM1, uh, and then start from the middle, and one more, uh, this one is COM2. So COM1, so if COM1, then I rotate this one to increase, decrease the frequency, and then the hundreds uh, decrease the frequency, and then push here to transfer between standby and active frequency. So this one is a frequency for my uh, communication here, and then this one is transfer switch from standby to active frequency, either in channel one or COM1 or COM2. This one is low, mid, medium, max for auto brake. Uh, this one is radio uh, VHS1, VHF2. So if I want to VHF1, and then create, and then VH, uh, VHF2, and then uh, select, and then do that again. Okay, sorry, this one, I forgot, I think, uh, yeah, this is VHF1, VHF2. I don't use the, uh, the left and right radio I just use the left radio here this is unused at this moment and that is my landing gear so it's gathered you can put you have to pull uh, pull and then move up so it's get gated also you pull and move down this one is DIY so I, I will transfer this into my full cockpit later on so it's very nice so it's spring loaded with a switch, micro switch uh, inside. Okay, uh, that's the front one. Of course, this one is the latest edition. This one is a POS for a supermarket keyboard. If you notice, there's a card reader over here unused. This one is a six mode keypad. But today, uh, right now, I'm using this for my MacDo. Okay, from uh, from A320. So I fully program this key. Uh, this one is alphabet key with clear offer uh, overfly space. This is actually dot, and this was uh, plus and minus. Uh, this one left, right, up, down. So this one is L1, L2, L6 on the left side of the screen of Mac2. This has the right button on the right side of the screen of the MacDo, and this one is a MacDo day, uh, MacDo menu, data in it, F plan, secondary F plan, right now. This trip, this trip. So I've already kind of put it in sequence of the this trip. You see, data I diff S R I F P. This trip, okay. So for in it pa uh, page B. I just need to press one, it will go straight to init page B without to do a second page here. So I program it a uh, sequence here in the spot.next. So it's very uh, convenient, so you just go in sequence, okay? Without going the kind of uh, a top hat <laughs> uh, uh, route in the Mac 2 button. Uh, in the real airplane so it's just one two three four five six so I, I can continue this sequence this one is ATC communications progress uh, display and direct to so I want to direct to it's not on this in the in the real keyboard of the A320 I think the direct is actually on the here on the left side just below the display and there's numeric key so I can put my number here let's say uh, for VRV, V1, V2, VRV2, for example, or setting other numeric, okay? Uh, this is the very useful key. So 
I'm setting this A320 NX full here, the keyboard, all of my uh, controller. So I, I don't need to use my mouse anymore. Or actually, I just use my mouse for interacting with the electronic flight back EFB uh, uh, iPad on the A320 NX or main menu or something. So this is rarely been used during flight because I already program everything from the from the joystick to FCU to several button here also in my honeycomb uh, for the profile of A320 Neo or A32 NX uh, landing gear make do and of course this trust master throttle quadrant for A320 so it's a bit small I might you know create my own uh, throttle later on but at this moment it's very functional it's already configured with the correct D10 uh, yep for reverse mouse for the second PC I'm using trackball and uh, this one is for the main PC and of course this one transmaster and this is the pedestal uh, DIY so this one is for the flap so it's actually gated so you cannot okay, except if pull this uh, lever and then release it so it will lock okay so it's full position for a320 neo this one also for the spoiler you can put a speed brake as you want to and you pull it up it arm the auto spoiler okay this arm and this one is for the parking brake it's also gated so you push a uh, pull and rotate until it's locked into the new position it will be locked into the uh, off or on position okay so pull spring loaded pull the release so the spring loaded i don't know if the real one is like that or not so this one is for the cockpit door this one is i put it this one for wind shear prediction systems at this moment and this one for rudder trim but and i don't use it reset rudder trim so that is mostly the pedestal on the my right side okay so there's keyboard for the main pc it's diff uh, it's funny right main pc keyboard here while second pc is actually here uh okay so that is the right pedestal okay, so now we move into the overhead so this is another latest additions on the cockpit so it's not label because it's generic i didn't create any uh, dedicated but it's quite pretty functional so mostly imitating a320 uh, airbus but you can use this one for uh, 787 or CRJ if you want to, but you have to reprogram this again. Okay, so for A320 NX, this one is oxygen crew button, a push button here. This one unused, not yet assigned. This one is for a deer. Yeah, so each time you want to start, you have to configure like this. This one is landing gear, three positions. I'm not using a special uh, switch. I'm just using a, an, a NAND gate kind of arrangement logic. So I'll I'll kind of uh, post later on how I create this three position on off on becoming a on 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 kind of configuration. Okay, I'm using a NAND logic gate uh, setting. So uh, this one is for several like um, uh, strobe beacon nav light uh, logo light this one is taxi light three positions this one is taxi light uh, left and right uh, lights apu master apu uh, uh, on and this one is uh, seat belt of course non-smoking emergency light this one is for the wiper is i can bind already so if switch on the wiper this one is for the cabin light. This one is for, uh, I forgot. Uh, oh, sorry, this one is pitot heat. 
uh, this one wing I think engine this is wing this one is for cabin uh, notification uh, and ground crew I think a mechanical uh, front off and some something so just use this one to all this one is to all uh, this one is battery uh, one and two for a320 and this one is external switch and this one is PAX 1, PAX 2 if I want to switch off PAX and this one is fuel 1, fuel 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6 so this is center fuel, wing fuel, so like fuel pump so I need to switch on the fuel pump and this one is for testing the APU fire test uh, engine left fire test or engine 1, engine 2 fire test uh, this one not yet assigned so that's it so that's the overhead i can use the overhead to simulate most of the normal flight uh, switches of course it's normal flight <laughs> no emergency situation because no other key are assigned so that's quite functional uh, behind this actually there's a light over there uh, just to make it this area a bit brighter because it's blocking my top lights from the room okay so i think that's it uh i've show you uh the latest setup which i kind of quite comfortable right now yeah i just need the label for that one or I'm buying another uh pass register keyboard like this is very handy because you can label it inside this clear cap and then rather than putting a label over there <laughs> so yeah we'll we'll consider that uh, actually there's some more down there there's a trim wheel and this one is for the smaller plane like Cessna uh, fuel cutoff switch uh, and there's a there's a landing gear if you want to but this panel is actually can be programmed separately so yeah sparking brake here uh, from the smaller aircraft uh, yeah there's a lot of switch over here that uh, um, even down here there's another switch cuff uh, it's not visible because of this uh, big uh, honeycomb um, and uh, there's uh, I don't know you can see that there's a, a very huge uh, uh, 16 channel USB with on off so I can program that another usb so i think there's a lot of cable back there as a for usb connection so there's a lot of usb controller connected to my keyboard and it's actually i don't like it I'm, i might want to create uh, later on when i built um, my full uh, size a320 cockpit i'm going to use probably mobi flight or other serial controller so it won't connect it into the PC as a joystick controller or HID controller because if it's USB and joystick controller or con uh, yeah uh, so HID controller it will be recognized by FS2020 and registered as a controller I cannot deactivate it and the more controller connected into FS2020, I think it's prone for crash to desktop. So I hate it. I think they have to fix it. Uh, so try to minimize the controller connected to your main PC to FS2020. I think they don't like it. Uh, I, they don't like to, it doesn't like to have many controller uh, attached to it. I think they scan it and pull the controller and causing uh, error I guess and crash to desktop okay so anything else that I forgot of course there's some camera over there probably some oh there is another uh, behind my seat there is uh, my HP reverb over there if I want to have a VR uh, connection oh sorry uh, 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 VR session so I'm gonna grab it and uh, put it uh, to use in my game okay so that's it uh, that's the latest additions and you can see from afar how it looks okay so this is the looks from afar uh, this is my gaming seat and you can see the, how the the yoke is 
protruding in the centers, but I can push it back into the flush to the cougar area of there if I want to. One more thing, uh, there is a kind of platform over there that I put my um, VKB joystick for the fighter. So if I want to use a fighter joystick, uh, sorry, fighter aircraft, I attach my VKB to that platform and the joystick will be here in the center. I usually uh, recline or move back the seat uh, to the back side so it kind of more rooms and for the center joystick uh, combined with my Hotas uh, Warthog here, Thrustmaster uh, for uh, fighter jet fighter session. Uh, either the FS2020 or DCS, for example. So that is my FCU over there, uh, Kogar and multi-engine controller below, uh, Honeycomb, uh, POS keyboard that's converted to MacDo. That is the Thrustmaster uh, turtle quadrants and the pedestal for the flap, spoiler, and parking brake. So this is one is quite quite accurate. Okay. So that's just the setup and of course the overhead panel hanging using a L bracket over there. So it's kind of like flimsy right now. I don't like it, but I don't want to have a, a crossbar in the room. Okay. So that's it. So here's my latest uh, configurations in November, 2021. See you.